Okay, looks like it's actually working now. So, what I'm going to be doing is, um, um, by the way, before I actually get started, so I forget, I'm going to be talking about um, J Station, and then when I do another video, we're going to be talking about all these others that you can't actually see, uh, and then there'll be more down the line. Um, so the one thing I'm going to make clear is I have actually um, done my avatar. You're not going to see the colors yet because I'm using this. But at some point I'll be using my virtual headset. And then I'll have a camera to be full on VTubing. So yeah, I made this avatar on Vroid. So really good application. It actually gets, you know, shit done. So yeah, right, um, you're going to be just quickly um, doing a gestation, which will be 4 minutes long, and then I'll talk about it a bit, and then by the end, that's about it. So um, I'm going to be talking midway through, pausing it, all that stuff, so yeah. Don't wear it? Give it a second life with Minted. It's simple and Don't secure. Do Download Minted. Oh, I don't hear anything. Oh, yes, of course, it's not connected to my ear, but... How is it looking now? The Canadian is best known for his prank videos, uploaded predominantly on his main channel, I'm J Station, which helped him accumulate over 6 million subscribers. But these pranks were frequently accused of being in bad taste with the YouTuber supposedly talking to the dead and creating false conversations with deceased people like Mac Miller. But his channel Don't was not demonetized until January 2020 after he faked his girlfriend's death. Since the demon He faked his girlfriend's death. So from he faked talking to the dead? For his prank videos, uploaded predominantly on his main channel, I'm J Station, which helped him accumulate over 6 million years in YouTube history. The Canadian is best known for his He's prank Canadian. video, supposedly talking to the dead and creating yeah. false conversations with deceased people like Mac Miller. January 2020, after he faked his girlfriend's death. Since the demonetization was implemented, Ethier continued his content creation by uploading. Right, so he faked his girlfriend's death, he was talking to dead people, or faked it, and I believe he was a kid's YouTube uh, video fucking maker. Oh, sorry, I drank a lot of energy drinks. Oh, anyway. Yeah, talking to dead people, supposedly. I think that was one of them where he, he was the guy that was known for making... That video of laughing in that dead corpse. Oh, was that Logan Paul? No, that was Logan Paul. Never mind. They're very alike. They're very similar people. They're both fucked up in the head and yeah. Putting reaction videos on a second channel. They're not very this good. This channel was not demonetized and was originally shared between him and his girlfriend. On March 12, 2021, over a year after the controversy over his girlfriend's hoax death, Ethier announced both his channels had been terminated and he was planning to take legal action over YouTube. Ethier claims YouTube banned him for circumventing demonetization on his main channel by posting videos on the second account. Ethier published a farewell video via Twitter, where he claimed allegation of assault made against him by an ex-girlfriend had prompted YouTube to change tact. He strongly denied these allegations. Team YouTube encouraged Ethier to contact them privately right. to resolve any issues he still had. At the end of his video, Ethier announced plans to create a new YouTube channel, 
but stated he would not show his face on YouTube ever again. I'm going to have a channel on YouTube, it's going to be big, he said. But I can't tell anybody, and it's not oh, going to have my face. Words. YouTube has not yet publicly responded to the direct threat of legal action made by Ethier. Before he starts talking about all this bullcrap, um, his channel is based on um, kids, right? He His, his channel is based on uh, educated, not educated, what am I on about? Um, his channel is basically based on fucking, you know, the stereotypical children's channel where they're like doing 3 a.m. videos. I think he's like made that shit actually. Um, all that bullcrap, you know, kids believe in like, if you call Pizza Hut at 3 a.m., uh, a cameron would come after you and fucking go to the manager or whatever. Uh, he, he did that. He did the 3 a.m. videos where he would pretend like a ghost is probably going to kidnap him at 3 a.m. But, um, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's based on children's uh, channel type stuff, isn't it? So, like, if you're based on a children's channel, why are you, one, saying you're talking to dead people, two, saying your girlfriend died, and I'm pretty sure another one was about him fucking dying or something, and then basically making, like, the most attention-seeking content ever. It's what he's doing, he's attention-seeking on his content. Like... He's doing all these I've di my girlfriend died videos for content and views. I'm pretty sure at that point, in my opinion, the kids aren't there speaking. I can't really just say, why would you believe him after like, the fifth time he's done this? He he's based around kids. So I can't really say that. So he he's, he's going to go to court uh, or whatever. Uh, to basically threaten YouTube that listen, if you don't put my con my YouTube channel back up, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna tell my mum and she's gonna if she she works for court. I'm gonna tell her and she's gonna make you put my YouTube back up. I don't get that when you were literally traumatizing kids. Uh, God knows what else you could have done to someone for fuck me. Uh, someone could have, I know it sounds a bit over the top, but someone could have killed themselves because he said that his girlfriend died or he died or whatever. He's not thinking about the consequences of his actions, but now because he's facing the consequence of his actions, he's trying to go to court about it. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck about scoring all these kids that are watching his fucking stupid videos. I, don't get I it. just want to say it makes thank no you sense. to every one of my fans who supported me through everything that's ever well, happened. I, just before that, I hated this guy so much as a kid. I hated everything about this man. Despised him. Every bit of him I despised. I hated him so much. He had to be the most annoying creator I have ever witnessed on YouTube, right? To the point where I actually blocked his channel on my channel and my sister's channel. I blocked him on my baby sister's channel, both of them, got on the phones, because they were watching this 3am shit he posts, right? And having nightmares at night being terrified that there's some fucking monster in the cupboard or whatever. So I, and they wouldn't stop watching him. So I blocked their channel. I blocked his channel. And they've not, they, they forgot he exists now. They don't even know he exists anymore. They've forgotten about him. Right? Not only because his channel was actually, you know, I was taken down. And this is when he was actually still talking. I kept seeing videos of him on, in, in kitchen. He didn't have it on the phone, so we started watching it in the kitchen. So I, I went to the TV in the kitchen and blocked him on the air. I blocked him on the off every single fucking device in our house. I, I hate this guy so much, and I don't want him anywhere near 
if I had to have anything like kids or whatever, I won't even want them watching his channel if he ever gets back up. I hate this guy. I hate him so much. Because he is like, he's awful. He's an awful guy. You can tell by that right now what he's done there. He's, he's an awful guy. But even back then, you don't know that all these 3 a.m. Not any of these creators, all of them. Don't even know that these 3 a.m. videos, yeah, they're for content. But you don't seem to forget that you can give kids nightmares by doing this. I know it sounds like a, a very stereotypical parent thing to say, like, oh my god, you should be doing this. But come on now, it's not even content. You, you're just making fairy tales and saying that these exist so that kids will watch your videos and be like, oh my god, fucking buggy man just came, up, came out under my bed. And then you're making these kids think it's real and this is happening. Uh, I really appreciate I don't I don't understand so why much. people like these people. And to the haters, like I, I really don't know what you're celebrating for because the fact of how random this really was. It's not I wasn't, random. Um demonetized because I faked someone's death. You know, Mick Juggernaut gets faked his dad's death live on YouTube, bro. Everybody thought it was real. The police had thousands of people call the police station. There's been YouTubers faking their death, that they died of cancer. They're good. So what makes him think that he should do it? Why is he... He knows that that YouTuber, had, the one that had loads of people calling the police and shit. Why copy him? Why copy any of these YouTubers? Right. That are fake deaths. That's like saying, would you jump off a bridge if these YouTubers jumped off a bridge? People that say they would are, are dumb. Unless I understand, I'm not saying obviously I'm like, oh, you should do it. But if your partner was to jump off a bridge, then I'll, I'll, I'll at least understand some type of why you've done that. But that, that's not saying that uh, you, this random person, this YouTuber, that you know has done faking the stuff and shit. Why make it think that it's okay? Why why think it's okay? Why are they thinking that? Because he, he well, what, he's stupid. This guy is literally lacking brain cells. He's lacking brain cells. This dude does not have any brain cells left in his fucking head. I mean, look at him. <laughs> I don't judge looks, but he even looks stupid. He even looks like he doesn't have any brains. It's not that. It's because my ex-girlfriend went to the police and made a false report that uh, I assaulted her. It's then where YouTube demonetized my account. I won't be surprised. He looks like he would do that. So. I don't know, bro. That's why. I, this guy's dumb. But they chose to leave my 666 channel monetized at the time where they demonetized my MJ station. Thank and they God. acknowledge that in the tube filter article if you look it up. So, me making a whole year's worth of videos on my 666 channel, and just now that it. Now, all of a sudden, they completely delete both of them. Seems incredibly random. Just doesn't make sense at all. I wasn't circumventing, uh, circumventing their demonetization. They even said, no, we left his second channel monetized. They knew I had this channel. I was talking to YouTube chat um, about problems on the channel. It was all good, just randomly now. I completely even changed all my content. I don't even make what people enjoyed me making before. I completely made stuff that's new. It's crazy. But good news is, guys, I guess they just don't want to see my face. So no, I don't think I'm anyone have a does. channel on YouTube. It's going to be big, but I can't tell anybody, and it's not going to have my face. I love you guys. I'll remember you always. Peace. So he's going to make another YouTube channel. It's going to be big. I wonder how that will turn out. I generally don't think he'll actually succeed with this. 
I mean, I'm hoping he doesn't. My name's Jay, but on social media, God, I'm why known is he bold? I'm known for making prank social media videos. At Shit like point, that. I had 6.5 like million subscribers on one channel and 800,000 on the other. All of my videos were fake and planned out. They were pranks and not that the video of him telling me die. The cancer, which is why his head's bald. Okay, so, a potion to turn gay. Now he's just insulting gay people, in my opinion. It's not even funny, that's what I mean. It's just playing about insulting people that are actually gay, in my opinion. I got a lot of people mad at me for that. No, no, shit. He's in the emergency room, they don't know what's wrong with him. Another time I filmed a video of me being in a coma, I... Yeah, that's what I was on about. He didn't fake his death. He faked that he was in a coma. Now, that's what I mean. The kids watch his channel, right? Kids watch his channel, he faked his coma, right? Kids, um, I'm gonna be really, really upset because all they know really in a coma is that you are, you know, you, you're not yourself. You're not gonna be basically posting anymore. You're not gonna be doing any of this. It could have been kids where they've had the fucking grandparents in a coma, the dad, mum, sister, brother, he has like he had like over he had like God knows how many subscribers, more than a million, maybe even two million or more, right? And all these people that have had parents or whatever, probably in a coma, right? What do you expect when they basically had near enough a coma? You're not gonna sit there and you're gonna be like, oh my god, why did I get backlash for this? That's like saying that I faked uh, a suicide and I come back. I come back like a week later, being like, "Oh my god, guys, an angel just fucking brought me back to life." People are gonna know it's bullshit, but kids won't. Kids will actually think it's true. They don't believe what you say. Kids are that innocent and that blind to it because they're not developed. Them kids are gonna can grow up older and be like, "This guy is a dickhead." He's a dickhead. Because he's, he made me feel like he actually went through all this shit. And now he is here. He lied to me. And now I'm going to be butthurt. I'm going to be really upset. And probably not trust anybody at school or, ever, or anything. Because my favourite YouTuber that I watched and was really inspired by or whatever. This just basically lied to my face and made me think that he was in a coma. I wasn't. Shit like that. Jay, you drive, Shit like that. Should I let him drive, guys? Over a year ago, I posted a series of videos about the fake death of my girlfriend. YouTube decided to ban me from posting videos. I had to tell all of my followers I was taking a break. Thank you for rocking with me and understanding this. I'll be back. Not sure when. YouTube terminated my account. Basically overnight, my source of income was gone. It's been almost two years since being banned. I knew my videos were controversial. Yes, some people might think I crossed the line, but I really don't think I went too far. Well, joining us virtually is Jay. Uh, Jay, how you doing? Hey, I'm good, Dr. Phil, how far. you doing? I swear. All right, you've been shut down for two years? A little over a year now, Dr. Phil. So what have you been doing since? Uh, I've been doing some stuff with real estate. I got together with some real estate investors and started buying rental properties. Yeah. I, I know where there's an opening for a welder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You can jump all over that. When you put up anything at all, they take it down, no matter what it is. You put it up under a different name, under anything, they take anything you put up down, right? Yeah, Dr. Phil, um, basically YouTube said I'm banned from being in possession of any YouTube channel. I can't post anything, even if I make a new account. Yeah, is there, is there any kind of appeal? I mean, do you 
ha have you filed an appeal? Have you said, look, I get it. I've crossed the line. Is there some probationary way you can come back? Is there, is there anything you can do to kind of make amends? I've tried to email them several times. It's just YouTube is almost impossible to get a hold of, and I really don't know what to do to get my YouTube channel back or even to be able to make a new one. Yeah, so this took your income to zero, right? Yes, Dr. Phil, out of nowhere. I was making over 100K a month and then zero dollars now. 100K a month and then it just went to nothing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, overnight. If you've learned something, what would you pass on to those that aspire to do? You're making 100 grand a month. What do you, Let's get what ready do you say to these guys Time that some are following along the path that you've been down? Uh, it takes a lot of dedication. Keep on doing it every day or as much as possible. But the biggest thing nowadays is to never do anything that anybody could think is controversial at all. I'm definitely never going to do anything controversial, offensive. Uh, you know, I'm I, I I'm sorry for even doing any of that stuff. I can't believe I did that. Right. Personally, I think. He is utter crap. Yeah. I just think he is on about utter crap. I don't think he's actually going to fucking change. No. I don't think he will change. As much as he says he's going to change, he is not going to change. Right? This man would have changed. If the moment he got backlash from taking the piss out of gay people, he would have apologized for that. Uh, as far as I know, he didn't apologize to it. I don't know. Uh, maybe he did. Actually, we can have a look right now. If he did make an apology, but I, I generally don't think he did. I don't think he did. Um, I mean, I'm on YouTube right now. I mean, I have to piss around, but um, yeah, I don't think he'll change. Even if he says he will, he isn't going to change because the thing is, he would have learned the first time, if not the second time, and if not the third time. He lied about his girlfriend dying. He got back from that, which is meant he got his channel taken down. Uh, I don't think he actually really properly at least apologised about his girlfriend uh, faking his girlfriend's death. He faked he was in a coma. Uh, this is what I'm saying about um, the fact that um, you know oh um, he makes content which is basically scarring kids or making kids uh, want to watch his videos because he got spooky monsters at night at 3am. Uh, a doll getting possessed, uh, him going missing, whatever he does for his content. Um, the only thing I know is that he makes scary videos that are scary to kids uh, about 3am in the morning. And now he's done shit where this is where he's lying, in my opinion. He's done all that, which is near enough not even content, it's just fucking pathetic. Another way of saying, I, don't, I have a shit sense of humour, I'm a shitty person, and so I'm going to be a shitty person and make videos like that. And then, uh, I'm gonna, now, I'm going to be more shittier, because I'm going to say my girlfriend had died, I'm going to say that um, I'm in a coma, I'm going to do all this shit, right? And the moment I get backlash, I'm going to bitch and whine about it, and then... Now that I'm facing the consequences, I'm going to make a channel and be even more petty, be even more pathetic and uh, not tell anyone about this channel because I'm going to try my best to make this channel blow up. And then he's probably going to yet again, if he does get back up, he's going to get shut back down anyway. No point in him, no point in him even trying because at one point he'll actually get found out. And the moment they find out, they'll get shut back down and back to stage zero. He's pathetic. Is a child in a man's body. Because this man does not know that he is gone. He's off this. 
no more YouTube for him, nothing. He has crossed this line, he got away with far too much in my opinion, and I am actually thank I'm fucking happy that he is no longer on YouTube. Because this man is the most shittiest man on the planet. Full stop. Uh, yeah, it's already 25 minutes now. Um, yeah, that's my opinion on Jay Station. I hope he stays off the platform. Hope he never comes back on. And yeah, um, if you have anything to say, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, and just comment or anything about what you want me to do next. Maybe even link the video or watch it, see if I can post it on my channel. Um, yeah. You want to ask something if I don't reply um, you can always go to my Instagram um, and uh, message me on there so yeah thank you uh, that's what I'm saying now and that's just basically all I'm gonna be doing it is just reaction videos maybe gaming videos next time all right everyone uh, thanks for watching and goodbye